This is Jason with Chicago News, and this week we are reviewing the 2017 Dodge Charger SXT all-wheel drive. That's right, we said all-wheel drive. The 3.6 liter in this Charger has 292 horsepower. You can get it with up to 300 horsepower depending on what sport package you get, but really for the size of car and especially driving all four wheels, this isn't quite enough. We'd wish there's two more cylinders here. As far as styling goes, it's a bright spot for this Charger. We think it looks great, and this color is fantastic, but unfortunately this color makes you think performance, and it's missing. The words Charger and all-wheel drive don't seem to go together to me, so let's hop inside, give this thing a drive, and see what it's all about. This Dodge Charger SXT all-wheel drive, to me, is an answer to a question that nobody was really asking. These sort of throwback muscle car sedans to me are supposed to be rear wheel drive. All of their counterparts back in the day were rear wheel drive. And it just seems kind of odd to create an all wheel drive version. I mean, if you live somewhere where it's literally snowing year round, maybe this makes sense and it'd be fun to kind of hoon around in the snow, but in dry conditions, even wet conditions, there's so much traction for this weight of car and this size engine that it's really not that fun to drive. So let's see what this 3.6 liter has. You know, driving all four wheels and trying to pull a 4,200 pound car, it just doesn't feel that fast. It actually has decent top end power, but the lack of torque is really felt here. The car takes a while to spool up and get going, and it's just not the muscle car feel that you're expecting when you see a car that looks like this. As far as interior quality goes, I know I've been criticized in the past for my opinion about the interior, but here, especially in the SXT version, it just doesn't feel like a quality interior. The material choices are fine, they look okay, but it's when you touch them that the problem comes in. They just feel thin, things don't feel put together very well, and unfortunately, that really takes away from the overall experience. And when you're talking about an almost $40,000 car, you expect more. This Charger's actually got a nice eight-speed automatic transmission. Now, the calibration is a little bit lazy on it. It does kind of hunts between gears, but overall, it's nice to have that many ratios to choose from. Also, the all-wheel drive system is pretty advanced here. It's got a transfer case that can make the car 100% rear-wheel drive, or it can bring power to the front wheels as necessary. It's actually a pretty cool system and even allows you to set the car up to drive a lot more like a rear wheel drive car. This Charger is available with a couple different stereos, a couple different infotainment options, lots of different tech features. But at the end of the day, you kind of want your muscle car to be simple, but you also want it to have a little muscle. You think that both of those are missing. The more you option this out, the less it feels like an authentic muscle car. We've talked about Chrysler's Uconnect system in other reviews, and it's a very good overall system. There's lots of apps that are available. In the end, the screen can be a little bit busy at times, but it definitely gets the job done. One benefit you get with this six-cylinder engine is a little bit better fuel economy, obviously, than you would get in any of the V8 versions. It's actually well claimed up to 27 on the highway, and really what that comes down to is that sometimes a smaller engine while it'll get better highway mileage, overall your real world mileage isn't as good because you have to use more throttle all the time. The car is a bit slower so you have to get your foot in it to get the car going. As far as handling goes, there's really not much to talk about. It doesn't handle very well at all. Despite having 19 inch wheels, it just doesn't have a lot of grip. It's soft, mushy, rolls around. Now, these, we've driven some of the performance versions of the Targer and it, they handle quite well. So we're really wondering what's missing here. Obviously it's tuned for comfort instead of performance, but we feel like there's a better balance that could be struck here. There could be more performance. So what do we think of this Charger all-wheel drive? Well, again, I'm not so sure that an all-wheel drive Charger is what people really want. I think we would have enjoyed this car a lot more if it wasn't 70 degrees in the middle of February. We had some snow and we could have some fun with this thing. Maybe our idea would be a little bit different, but it, this seems like a lot of money for not a lot of car. Because of that, we say go for the V8, go for the rear wheel drive. 